So, Penny Vredenberg, tell us about your role with Mary Monarch Festival. For about 20 years, I did up to 18 shows in one day. I emceed them outside of the arena, all over Hilo, including the docks when visiting ships would come in. And I started in 1992. I returned to Hilo from my life in Honolulu. I returned home to Hilo, and Auntie Dottie asked me if I would help her. I said, of course I would, Auntie Dottie. Of course. The first job was to take this group from Ireland around Hawaii Island and give them a little bit of what Mary Monarch stood for and Hawaiians and things like that, which I did with great joy. And they were featured at Mary Monarch in interviews and stuff. And it was just wonderful coming from Dave from an island country. And here we are in our island, paradise. I know, Penny, that you have continued being close to Mary Monarch. What was your first inkling that there was any problem with the longtime practice of Halau staying at county gyms? How did the people associated with Mary Monarch find this out? Through the newspaper. There was no contact with them. It was through the newspaper articles that they found out that this was going on and a great consternation, of course, because it was like everybody in every thing was always positive about Mary Monarch. It was the largest hula competition in the world. It was located here in our city of Hilo. It was started by Auntie Dottie and Uncle George, and it belongs to Hilo. And Hilo ran it for 50 years plus, 54 years I think now, and everything ran smoothly. Everybody in the community encouraged them and help make way for them to succeed. Mary Monarch brings in millions to this county. Millions. And the halal always, wherever they were staying, in the gyms, they paid for it. They they were charged and they paid the county rent. And they would do wonderful things to some of the gyms. They did fix-up jobs and to pay back. And and they were always very self-sufficient and always loving and giving We loved them. We welcomed them. Everybody welcomed them until this year. And very unfortunately, it traumatized everybody. We want the halal around the world and around the United States and Hawaii to know that we want them. Don't stop coming. We will make way for them somehow by hook or by crook. We will get it done and they will be housed. And please do not hesitate to continue participating with Mary Monarch. The gyms, really, for a large halal, was very convenient because they could eat, sleep, and rehearse on that huge gym floor. The gym floor was everything, and it just made all the sense in the world that they would stay in these large areas because they could rehearse. So it was extremely practical, and everybody welcomed them, everybody except this year. Do you think that the Big Island community still is as supportive of the Mary Monarch Festival as they always have been? Absolutely. The community, yes, absolutely. It's their pride and joy. It's our pride and joy. We need more cooperation, however, from our mayor. Well, really, from the mayor. I grew up with Mary Monarch from high school years, and Mary Monarch has been so good to Hilo, and it's Hilo's pride and joy. And I hope it continues without barriers placed on them. Why those barriers were placed, I haven't the faintest idea. Security, safety-wise, my God, these gems are, are used by our children. And if they're unsafe, why are these children being in the gems? It just boggles the mind. I know for a fact that Harry Kim has been blessed with complimentary tickets for years for Mary Monarch. I know for a fact that he's never used them. And it would be nice, if, it would be wonderful if he would just let himself come and enjoy Mary Monarch and see the impact it makes on so many people. And on this county, this whole county, we would so welcome his support. Maybe if he would attend, he would see and feel the aloha and the wonderfulness of community and of the interests of so many others around the world for this magnificent festival. I wish he would attend. It would be wonderful.